Hello again, this is Dr. Alvis from Montgomery College, and we are continuing to look at parts of speech and their distribution in phrases and clauses. As you should recall, nouns can function as subjects in front of verbs, and they can function as objects after them. Uh, adjectives uh, often occur uh, in front of nouns, uh, modifying them. So this shows us some of the samples of uh, words uh, such as nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs in phrases and clauses. Now let's turn our attention to conjunctions, prepositions, and articles and determiners. First, conjunctions connect words, phrases, and clauses. There are two types. There are coordinated conjunctions such as but, so, and, or. These can do two different things. Uh, they can connect two independent clauses such as subjects precede verbs, but objects follow verbs, with but in the middle, connecting those two clauses. They can also connect two words of the same parts of speech, such as lectures and videos, both nouns, uh, young and old, both adjectives, quick and effectively, both adverbs. Next, we have subordinating conjunctions, uh, such as when, while, before, after, and uh, these uh, have one primary function of making uh, a dependent clause. So when you read the sentence, you will notice two clauses. And so in the sentence, when begins that uh, 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 dependent clause and connecting it to that uh, independent clause. Right? Next, prepositions, uh, their main function is to take nouns as objects. There are different categories of prepositions. Uh, they can express location, uh, in, on, under, near. They can express direction, up, down, around. Uh, and there are other meanings, of, with, and during. Right? Uh, some samples of these are uh, at work, uh, up the stairs, uh, with a friend. In each case, those nouns are the objects of those prepositions, at, up, with. And we can test it with a pronoun, uh, with, her. We cannot say, for example, with she, that her is the object pronoun while she is the subject pronoun. We next have, um, uh, and last but not least, articles and determiners, uh, and these include a number of categories we'll cover briefly here. Uh, articles, the, a, and possessive pronouns such as my, our, and such, and demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, those. Uh, what we can do with these is put them uh, in front of nouns, my book, uh, and uh, my new book. Uh, we can put them in front of the adjective in front of the noun, but what we cannot do is put the adjective in front of the determiner. A little quick test there. Okay. Uh, by the way, we cannot use two determiners in the same noun phrase. We can say, for example, my book, uh, the book, and so on, uh, but we cannot say uh, the my book or my this book. All right, so that's a lot of information, but these are some of the features, syntactic features, of conjunctions, prepositions, and determiners. In another video, you'll get some practice identifying these and explaining what they are.